What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. You guys know who it is, man. It's Kevil, man. Okay, so Manny Pacquiao. You guys know Manny Pacquiao. Pride of the Philippines, man. Mayweather, all those great fights, man. We got robbed from what was, what was the fight he got robbed from? He had some fights he got robbed from. That guy from England. I forgot his name. But anyways, anyways, that was about. This video is about is Manny Pacquiao the greatest of this generation, man? Is he really the greatest of this generation? Okay? I'm gonna say my opinion right off the back. I honestly think of this generation, Manny Pacquiao is the greatest, okay? That's just me. Before I even watch this video, I believe that Manny Pacquiao is the greatest of all time, okay? So anyways, this video is from Moda Media. I know, these, these guys do some amazing videos, man. You guys need to go over there to the channel. You guys need to check out them out. If you guys haven't, you guys need to go subscribe to them because they do some amazing work over there, okay? But anyways, we're going to check this video out and share my thoughts on it and what I think about this video and Manny Pacquiao, of course, you know, and all that, that good stuff. All right. But anyways, you guys new to the channel, man, give the video a big thumbs up right now for that, you know, for the YouTube algorithm. I need to give you guys a big thumbs up right now. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, turn that post notification bells on, and let's get into the video, man. Let's go. The pride of his homeland. The pride. A master of his craft. Truly and is. the last remaining giant of his generation. To consider Manny Pacquiao as one of the best fighters ever going into 2020 stands as somewhat of an understatement, attaining unparalleled achievements within the sweet science and standing as one of the world's most influential figures. Mm -hmm. And so, breaking down the argument for fighter of the decade, the... I gotta say, man, right off the bat, man, this guy who's narrated in this video, his voice is so satisfying. <laughs> like, this guy, give this guy a medal, man. This guy needs, a, like, an award right now. Someone needs to give him an award. Or someone needs to have him host, like, the Oscars or something. Or some, or National Geographic, man. That's the, someone need to call this guy and, like, tell him, yo, you need to be on National Geographic because your voice is perfect for that. And honestly, it is. For narrating, perfect. Story, as expected, narrows down to two contrasting figures. Yep. Mayweather. A record-breaking and era-defining rivalry which saw two men from opposite ends of the globe mesmerize the entire sporting world. So true. Here we break down one side of the argument by summing up Manny Pacquiao's incredible achievements over the past 10 years, a span that has seen revenge, redemption, and rewards beyond our wildest expectations. Please click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and press the bell button as we look at why Manny Pacquiao could be considered the fighter of the decade. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. He should. He definitely should. Fighter of the decade. Pacquiao started out the decade following one of his career best performances against Miguel Cotto. Who do you think wins that fight? Pacquiao is a, is a, is a quick starter. And if, if I had to lean towards a fighter, I would say uh, Pacquiao. A knight that... That was Mayweather. See, even though they have like a rivalry going on, Mayweather still respects Pacquiao, man. He still respects Pacquiao. That's one thing you guys got to admit. He respects Pacquiao. Saw him crown the first ever seven-weight world champion in his move up to welterweight. However, the year opened with bad news, with Floyd Mayweather negotiations breaking down, ruling out a 2010 mega fight. You will not fight him if he doesn't agree well, to the drug. Like test. I said before, we are we focus on uh, uh, on mostly. You know, that's oh, he's you guys, not answering the question. Instead, Manny opened against tough Ghanaian fighter Joshua Claudi. I know, and they were really good friends. I know who I am, and I know what I can do. So I don't think any opponent can take me light. And as expected, he dominated with blistering hand speed and tireless My work rate. My God. Manny Pacquiao, man, honestly, those, these hands, those hands of the Manny Pacquiao, they're way too fast, man. They're so deadly. And even if he's getting older, like, even, he's still quick with them. Like, how does a man get so fast? And I think, like, everyone says the way that Manny Pacquiao does, like, his fighting style, it's so different to anyone. He, he adjusts so quick. He can change up his fighting style like that. Like, he reads you. I'm like, okay, you want to do this? Okay, I'm going to switch it up. Left stab, left type. Oh, wow. That's how he, that's how Manny Pacquiao, he can adapt so easily. Taking every single round. 
you seemed reluctant to exchange punches with him. Why was that? Yeah, because you see, uh, um, he's fast. Eight he's months fast. later, Pacquiao signed the deal to make yet another sensational move up in weight. This time, a 154 pound bout against ill famed Mexican fighter oh, this guy Antonio Margarita. This guy talks so much trash, man. So much trash. And he ate his words. Yes, I know. He ate his words. Every single one of them. Yo. Seemingly unable to miss, fans saw a boxing clinic in another of the Filipinos' most mesmerizing performances. That's a pretty big guy you just beat up. What was that like? The night of the fight, I was... 148 pounds and Margarito 165 pounds. The commission asked me, are you going to defend your title? No, never mind, give it to them. <laughs> now eight world champion, Pacquiao entered 2011 with an air of invincibility. But it's amazing how he succeeds beyond the wildest imagination. And it showed as he scored another landslide victory putting 55 Where? veteran Sugar Shane Mosley onto a survival mission. Okay, now we can stop debating about this, Shane. We see it's that way. Damn. Next, in a night billed as the 25th round, the Filipino faced previous two-time opponent, Juan Manuel Marquez. Oh, this was another one who talked a lot of, you know, trash to Manny Pacquiao. What I've noticed so far, everyone who's talked trash to Manny Pacquiao later on regrets it. Because Manny Pacquiao comes back hard at them, like to show you, like, yo, who are you trying to disrespect? Like, you're trying to disrespect me? I'm going to show you never disrespect the Manny Pacquiao, man. I remember this. Another Mexican. Though, in what was supposed to erase all doubt from the previous two. Manny, did you think you won the fight when the bell rang? Yes. You thought you won the fight. Yeah, that's why we have a third fight. <laughs> the third fight brought even more controversy. That was his rival. Scraping a majority victory after an all-out war, Pacquiao moved to 54, 3, and 2. We always have distractions and so forth, and usually the distractions don't, don't get to many, but something got to him this time. It was a close fight. Was it? Yeah. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> Six months on, 2012 sparked another dramatic trilogy. The first bout against Tim Desert Storm Bradley. Oh, I remember this. Manny got robbed. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was scared. I was scared out of my mind. You see Bradley doing his best to not let the moment get to him, but he is clearly tightly wound. I had my goal in mind, but at the same time it was just like how hard does he punch? Extremely How hard. Fast, is he? <laughs> fast, fast, fast. Amazingly fast. This time, despite countering effectively and doing visible damage, the decision went against Pacquiao in a controversial split decision. Yep. And I remember that everyone, everyone was saying, yo, they robbed Manny Pacquiao in this fight. This fight, they got robbed because, like, you guys see the guy's face? Like, Bradley's face was mosh up. Bradley's face was so mosh up compared to Pacquiao. Pacquiao looked like he was still ready to go in another two rounds, man. But he went to Bradley Cooper, man. Comment down below if you thought Manny Pacquiao was robbed of that fight, man. Comment down below right now. New WBO welterweight champion of the world, Timothy. Did you think you won the fight? Absolutely, yes. Oh. Absolutely. Adding insult to injury, came his second loss of the year, this time in dramatic oh, yeah, and unquestionable out. fashion. He got knocked out. He got knocked out. He got knocked out. The harrowing sight just before his 34th birthday echoed all the signals of a finished fighter. Refusing to accept his decline and ignoring media criticism, Pacquiao's return was imminent. Mm -hmm. And from late 2013, Never the gave next up. 12 months saw an emphatic comeback. See, that's the thing about it. Manny Pacquiao didn't let that knockdown like, put him out or put him in retirement. He came back stronger because he was determined to make a difference, man. And he knew. Like, this, this, this is what everyone looks up to Manny Pacquiao, man. 
honestly, he's an inspiring story, and he always like pushes pushes forward. He doesn't give up. He doesn't. He's a fighter, like fighter in the ring and fighter in life. You guys, I'm sure you guys who watch this right right now, you guys know the story of Manny Pacquiao and his life, and you guys know that Manny Pacquiao has been fighting. For a while, like even before he became a fighter, he's been fighting. So, so this guy does not quit. He does not know when to stop. He just, he just keeps going and going, man. That's the thing about it. He just keeps going. That's the Manny Packet everyone loves and everyone knows, man. The Filipino overwhelmed Brandon Rios in China with speed and movement. He uses that right hand better than any shot ball. Trying to laugh like, like this was convincingly hurt. ended Tim Bradley's undefeated record in their MGM rematch. Max Bradley up, goes to the flurry again. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. And destroyed Chris Algieri at the yeah, back end that was, that was of 2014, back, back scoring a total of six knockdowns. This guy looks like he's lost. Manny's power is very surprising. He cuts good angles, you think you're safe, and you're not. Which leads us to the big one. After six years of anticipation, billed as the fight of the century. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. One that, due to never-ending negotiations, became more aptly taglined, better late than never. <laughs> Taking the first three rounds across the board, Mayweather gained the early momentum. God bless you. And with Pacquiao's lackluster punch output, the subdued Southpaw lacked his usual energy and aggressiveness, enabling Mayweather to pick his shots, avoid any meaningful damage, and ride out a wide victory across all three cards. Disclosing an injured right shoulder and unsatisfied with the decision. Although there was a problem with the shoulder, whether it existed or not, I always said there was no, there, oh, there was, go, there wait, go, wait, wait, no, go. hold on, hold on. Pacquiao remained insistent on his eventual rise toward. That's one thing. Pacquiao never wanted to use the shoulder thing as an excuse in the fight. So he did, I, I, I know people were saying that it wasn't Manny Pacquiao who t said about his shoulder being injured or anything because he did not want to use that excuse. He just wanted to fight Mayweather and prove to, May to, to the people that he could fight. Even though he lost the fight, a lot of people say he won the fight. A lot of people say he lost the fight, but he, he at the end of the day, he lost the fight to the judge's decision. And I feel like even though Manny Pacquiao came out strong, tried his best, and wanted to fight Mayweather, that's why I'm hoping that there's going to be another rematch. I really want to see a rematch like in 2020. I'm hoping that this year there's going to be a rematch. Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather 2020. Comment down below if you guys want to see that rematch, man. Let me know if you guys want to see that rematch. Another world title. And so one year later, with Floyd now retired at 50-0, Manny's journey restarted with a third victory over Tim Bradley. He used his experience against me, uh, his ability, and uh, he won the fight tonight. Congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. And a clinical beating of Jesse Vargas to see out 2016. Hey Matt, does that work? Oh! 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 He's a very experienced fighter. I give him credit. You know, he's, he's a legend. He is. This one, Horner. Jeff, Jeff Eight Gordon. months on came that memorable night in Queensland, Australia. This guy, he got robbed, a man. A night where, despite a career best performance from Jeff Horn, boxing fans witnessed what would be considered amongst the worst decisions of the decade. Ever. And no! Yeah! Horn Scullies! Though again, refusing to show any disrespect. Thank you to all the fans who came here. Uh, thank you so much to all the Filipino people. The setback. You see that, man? This man is so humble. Even though he felt like he got robbed, and everyone everyone knows he got robbed in that Jeff Horner fight. Everybody and their mommies and the aunties know he got robbed. But Manny Pacquiao is so humble. He's like, okay, well, I guess next time I'll come back even harder and I'll knock you out so he can't go to the decisions. <laughs> back would only further motivate the senator. And straight back in at the deep end. In mid to late 2018, Pacquiao took on another Hall of Famer in form of hard-hitting Lucas Matisse. And rolling back the clock in violent style, he put away the Argentinian in the seventh, sending a shockwave throughout the boxing world. Which leads us to the last and even more impressive 12 months in which the Pac-Man catapulted himself right in with not only the division's very best, 
of the pound for pound elite. Beating two young, live, and hungry champions in Adrian Broner and yep. Keith Thurman. Yeah. Do you feel like they're underestimating you? Man, I, okay, I'm trying to tell you. Broner was you might get topic. punched, Brian. Broner brought his usual trash talk, was beaten by activity. Pacquiao lands a lead left to the body of Broner. And accuracy. Oh, and there's a left hand that backed up Broner. With Pacquiao's continuous barrages of punches. In favor of the winner, and still the Whereas Thurman dropped in the first. Oh, down goes Thurman! Struggled to find his feet into the middle rounds. Oh, yeah, good right hand left hook by Thurman. Providing too little. This was a good fight, honestly. Thurman chalked so much trash in the start of this fight, man. Even before it started, Thurman was talking so much trash. And then at the end of it, at the end of it all, he was like, well, you know. Manny was the better fighter. Manny, you know, Manny beat me. So, I don't know. After talking all that trash, I guess he learned his lesson, like, respect your elders. <laughs> and but he, he, Manny, at the end, he was like, okay, you know what? Manny beat me, Manny beat me, and he did good. Boxing's pride to the Philippines. Too late. Mm -hmm. And Too so late. now, becoming a four-time welterweight world champion and standing as the only fighter to have ever been a world champion for four successive decades. Yeah. Manny Pacquiao holds unparalleled achievements in a movie like roller coaster career. One that for generations to come will reflect humility, determination, motivate people perseverance, too. and endear the pride of an entire nation. That's right. Alright, man. Well, we sat there and watched this whole video, man. Motividia. I gotta give a shout out to Motividia, man. Honestly, Motividia, you guys need to go check them out. Go subscribe to Motividia. If you, link in the description, if you guys know. Like, go check it out. That video down below. Motividia. That's the channel, man. This, these guys do amazing work. Top notch stuff. But, anyways, let's get back to the video. This video, man, honestly, talk about Manny Pacquiao is truly like Manny is the greatest. You guys know I said that from the start. I'm still gonna say that right now. Manny is the greatest of all time. Honestly, if it, Muhammad Ali had to fight Manny Pacquiao right now, Muhammad Ali would not know what to do. Okay, I'm going to go right there. Muhammad Ali would not. I personally think if Manny had to fight one other boxer that was pretty rough and tough, you know. You guys know Mike Tyson. I think Mike Tyson and Manny Pacquiao would be a good fight. Even though I know Mike Tyson is a heavyweight and Manny probably would never be able to. But if they had to, maybe it would have been a good fight. Who knows? Tyson, when he was younger, I know Tyson was was a mean, nasty, he didn't care, he, he wanted blood every time. And when he saw blood, Matt, he, I mean, T Mike Tyson would go crazy when he saw blood. He, he wants the kill, he wants the kill. But I think Manny Pacquiao is the greatest of all time right now, of the decade at least. I will go with Manny Pacquiao. I really do hope that they give it to Manny Pacquiao. But a lot of people say there's like, you know, like uh, stuff they like, they will never give it to Manny Pacquiao because he's not American. They want to keep it to Muhammad Ali. There's so much like stuff, controversy and stuff like that. But anyways, for me, Manny Pacquiao is the greatest and that's it. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Who do you, who do you guys think is the greatest of all time? Do you guys think Manny Pacquiao or do you have someone else? Put it down below in the comments down below right now, man. But anyways, if you guys made it all the end of the video, you guys know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bell on. Go check out my Facebook at It's Kevo, man. Yeah, that's where I post all my videos and I post all my vlogs as well over there. And also, go check, hit me up on Instagram at It's Kevo for real, alright? So, anyways, I'm out. Peace.